Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a drugstore haul. I picked up a couple things here and there throughout the weeks and just accumulated more products than I think I actually realized I had. So if you guys aren't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's just go ahead and jump into all the products that I picked up. Let's go. First product, because it is on top, I am going to start with, it is the Pixie Glow Mist. I'm so horrible at pronouncing words, guys, so please just, let's rough through it together. With Propolis, Propolis, and Argan Oil. It's just a setting spray. You can spray this on before you put your makeup on and just kind of get that glow from underneath your foundation. You can spray this in the middle of your foundation. Some people do their face first and then do their eyes. So before you do your eyes, you could go ahead and set your face and then do it afterwards. I actually haven't set my makeup. Let's just go ahead and do this. It's very refreshing feeling. I'm not a super big fan of the smell. It does help set everything into place and just add that extra oomph when you're done with your foundation and just kind of give you that glowiness. So I have been liking this one and I'm just gonna keep testing it out for you guys. So I pretty much rated the Wet n Wild section of my local drugstore and picked up so many products from them and honestly didn't realize how many I picked up. I didn't have a lot of Wet n Wild until recently I think the first product that I got from them was the photo focus eyeshadow primer and then I got their photo focus foundation those two products just worked so well for me that I wanted to test out more from their lines and just really dip my toes into the wet n wild brand I picked up two of their color conic wet n wild blushes I've heard so many people talk about these and I am so behind on these the first one I got is mellow wine and then I got apricot in the middle. I haven't used these two blushes on the skin yet. I have just swatched them. They are very smooth and give me some decent pigment. It's nothing super crazy but I do believe that these could be pretty notable. This one is mellow wine if you guys can see and then this one is apricot in the middle. I do the world's worst swatches. They're just pretty peachy kind of corally neutral blushes and that is definitely my vibe that is the vibe that I'm digging so I can't wait to actually put these on the skin and see how they do but I also got their photo focus press powder I got this in the shade warm light this is just for all over the face you can use this to set under the eyes the whole photo focus line is supposed to be no flashback so that's what I got this for it feels a little drying but I mean I feel like all face powders kind of feel like that it's right here if you can tell I have not used this yet but I am excited to try it out Tati who is glam life guru on YouTube raved about this and said how much she loved it didn't give her flashback I believe she used it under her eyes so it just helped mattify everything under there and just make sure that nothing creased so I definitely can't wait to try this out two more things from wet n wild this is the wet n wild contouring palette contour and this is in Dolce de Liche. I don't believe this is new or anything. This has been out for a while. I just, for some reason, have not grabbed it. It is a highlight and contour powder. The highlight shade is more so a mattifying highlight shade. So it's for under the eyes or anywhere that you put concealer, you would set with this powder and then you would contour with this shade. I have used these and I actually enjoyed them. They are so creamy to the touch this is them right there this is the highlighting shade and the contour shade last wet n wild product that i picked up is the wet n wild boozy brunch this is a shimmer palette it's just a beautiful beautiful highlighting shade it is more on the golden side i can't get too too heavy with this because again it is kind of that golden yellowy on my pale skin it definitely sticks out they had two more shades i do believe so i want to go get those two shades and see how they compare to this one i haven't used this yet so i really would like to see it actually on my skin with all of, of my other makeup and see how it works there so next thing that i picked up is the milani baked blush in luminoso katie who is luster Lux on youtube raves about this the most i think out of everybody that i have heard and i don't know why i haven't tried it i don't have milani in a lot of my drugstore stores I actually had to go to Target to get this and they've never had it there 
always been out of stock always been out of stock and i'm just too lazy to wait sometimes and get it online so finally i was in there actually not even looking at the milani section i just happened to peep over and they had it and i snagged it i have not even swatched this yet this feels so nice oh that's so pretty it's just a very soft peachy orally blush i'm wanting to do a first impressions on all of the products that I'm talking about. So if you guys like that, then leave me a comment below and I will definitely film that because I want to try this out. I picked up another NYX Face and Body Glitter and this is in 08 Bronze. I have a bunch of these, so this is nothing new to me, but I just always look for different colors when I go in there. I really enjoy these glitters and they come in handy again for face and the eyes or the body. And I just didn't really have a bronze color. So, there's that. Two e.l.f. products that I picked up. The first one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. They got me on this packaging because I thought it was going to be blue when it came out, and it's definitely clear. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you have seen these in my tutorials. I have been using this one, and I love this primer so much. It is so hydrating. It doesn't really feel silicone-y to me. Yes, it probably doesn't do wonders for my oily skin, but I like to be hydrated, and this would be amazing for you dry to normal girls out there. If you are looking for a hydrating primer on a budget, definitely go check this one out. kind of blends in with my background. Next e.l.f. product that I got is the e.l.f. foundation. I didn't keep the box. I had taken it out of the box, but I don't really know what the name of this is. I mean, on the front it just says e.l.f. On the back it says it's oil-free and it has SPF 15 in here. And this is in the shade Porcelain. I haven't tried this out yet, so this would probably be the foundation that I would use in the first impressions of all these products. But it does come with a pump and it does come in a, I believe this is a glass bottle. It's super nice. I enjoy this packaging so much it just looks so luxurious and definitely a step up for elf i'm really dying to test that out i picked up the sonia kashik foundation this is a soft focus satin matte foundation which i'm super curious about because satin and matte you don't really use those together because they are kind of opposites but i'm definitely interested to see how this would turn out i've heard casey holmes rave about this and i've been dying to try it but they have not had my shade for the longest time at my local Target. I'm super disappointed in Sonia Kashuk to be honest with you because they do not have many shades at all. Anytime that I go to my local Target at least, they have like four or five shades out. Girl, there are more than four to five skin tones out there. It comes in a pump. I love this matte black packaging, kind of ombre effect that it has going on. Definitely, oh, I don't, I'm not a fan of that though. If you turn. Ooh, sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Super excited to try this out and see how it works. I've been wanting to test out more foundations and just kind of get my feel for new things. I kind of have, I feel like everybody has their select few and it's just so hard to break away from those. So I definitely want to branch out and try different foundations and be able to give you guys reviews on more than just the seven foundations that I have in my collection. Last two products. The first one is the Maybelline Shine Shot glossy shine lip top coat Ooh, that is a mouthful i got this for mainly the glossy lid looks that you guys have been seeing all over the internet along with me i have been seeing them everywhere and wanting to give them a shot but i haven't really had any clear gloss sitting around i'm not much of a clear gloss kind of gal i more so like a new gloss if i'm gonna put anything on i saw this and wanted to give it a shot and see how the glossy lids would look and you never know maybe i'll become a clear gloss kind of gal the last and final item that I picked up and I believe I'm the most excited about is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix-In Pigment Makeup Drop. I saw these and almost had a freaking party in the <laughs> Walmart aisle. I was so excited when I saw these because I've been really wanting to try out the Cover FX ones and just... I don't know, I really haven't. I have a foundation that is kind of light for me, and so I felt that instead of just buying another color foundation, I could get the Cover FX drops and just add it in, make it a little bit darker, you know, adjust it to my skin tone. But those are a little bit more on the pricey side, and I don't know, just 
for something that I feel like I wouldn't use all the time. I mean, you can use them by themselves, don't get me wrong. You can totally use it by itself and it'd be its own foundation. But I just feel like the sole purpose of it is to mix it in with a different foundation. So I've just, uh, I've just kind of been having a hard time justifying spending about $40 for that. And when I saw these, I almost, again, had a freaking party in the aisle. I am so excited about these. I have not heard anybody talking about them or anybody mentioning them. So that could be a bad thing. Uh, I'm really hoping not. It does look pretty promising. It just comes with the product and a dropper. Obviously, that's the point of this. They had a decent amount of shades in my Walmart, I do remember. That's also a plus as well. I'm just so excited to try these. I thought about possibly doing a comparison and just taking the plunge and buying the Cover FX ones because I haven't tried them before so I really couldn't give you guys an honest comparison of them but I am thinking I might just again take the plunge and buy it and then do a possibly drugstore dupe and testing them out one side of my face the Cover FX drops and then these on the other side kind of seeing how they test out how they compare to each other and all that kind of jazz but I am so excited for this little bad boy. Please, makeup gods, don't let me down. Please, that I can recall, this is the only drugstore brand that's doing anything like this. I wish more drugstore brands would do it. I know the NYX has their total coverage drops, but that is just supposed to be a foundation on its own, you know? I mean, of course you can add it into your foundation, but this one says pigment makeup drops. So this guy's sole job to do that. You made it to the end. You made it through me blabbing this whole time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Again, if you want to see a first impressions video on all of these products, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below and I will get that out for you guys. Go ahead and again, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. And you can also hit the notification bell beside it and be notified every time I upload a video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So toodles for now. Peace out, please.